Hello and good morning listeners welcome back to Almus Market Mornings your daily dose of global financial updates I'm your host Swaraj Raj Gopal and we have got you covered on everything from currency shifts to pivotal central bank decisions and important speeches plus you'll gain expert analysis on macroeconomic data that's shaping the market narrative right now join us for this episode and navigate the markets with confidence It is a pre-win day for the markets as the much-awaited FOMC decision will be out tonight. Of course, participants would be keenly looking out for the dot plot projections and the speeches. Morning, JK. Talk to us about uh, what markets are positioned ahead of FOMC and what kind of triggers can bring in the volatility. Hey, good morning, uh, Swaraj. Yes, uh, yes, it's a very uh, big day for the markets uh, across the world uh, because uh, it's uh, leading central bank announcing its policy. And before that, we have the CPI, which will, in fact, have a big influence on the policy. Now, you know, it, Fed meeting was uh, six months back, exactly six months back, December 13th, was when they shifted uh, from uh, somewhat hawkish to dovish uh, uh, expectations, dot plot indicating three rate cuts uh, in the year 2024. And interestingly, the first rate cut was indicated for June 2024. And you can see how the markets have shifted since then. Now we are down to more or less only one rate cut this year. And the rate cut is not happening today, definitely not happening today. And neither next month. It could well be in September. So that's the shift that has happened. And yes, now a uh, lot of uh, focus will be on how the CPI comes tomorrow, uh, today, rather. Uh, if you look at the expectations, there is a moderation expected in month-on-month -month inflation from 0 0.3 to 0 0.1. That should give a lot of uh, comfort to Fed, although the year-on-year -year inflation still remains higher. And uh, there is also expectation of a core year-on-year -year inflation coming down. Uh, and important, as I have already pointed out uh, many times, is the services side inflation. Now, just to give you a perspective, when Fed indicated three rate cuts in December and again repeated in April, the month-on-month -month inflation was flat. It was zero. And the year-on-year -year inflation was at 3.1%. So that is the shift that has happened. Yes, uh, so all the markets will be uh, looking forward to what uh, the CPA says and then what the Fed says uh, uh, tonight. Uh, and of course, the recent uh, big fall in the crude prices would have an impact on the headline uh, CPI number. Uh, therefore, uh, that that would be a, a, you know indication of uh, uh, possibly Fed remaining at uh, two rate cuts uh, this year, still starting in September. Now, beside what happens in the U.S. economy and the Fed, we also have other factors which are keeping the dollar somewhat bid. The European markets have already uh, shivered at the uh, uh, you know political developments over the weekend. We have seen. A euro weakening both against the USD and GDP by more than 1%. Eurozone yields in Germany and France falling between 15 to 30 basis points. Stocks across the region taking a hit. Germany and France again falling by 1.5 to uh, 3%. And uh, the strong data from US has only worsened the case for euro you know, recovering. Uh, in fact, uh, hawkish Fed tonight could actually see euro, euro USD weaken more. Uh, however, uh, we do expect that, you know, the broad range between 106 and 109 to continue as far as the uh, euro is concerned. Uh, and other currencies also, again, today we had a Chinese inflation number, which came again uh, at minus 0.1%, less than what the market was expected, showing that the deflation is still on and uh, the Chinese one onshore is still comfortably trading above 725 uh, although there are reports that the state-run banks in China are selling dollars to uh, keep the yuan uh, weakness uh, contained, uh, that's another factor that is keeping the dollar a bit. Of course, yen uh, is still above 157, despite all the talk about uh, uh, you know CPI coming lower, uh, and also the Bank of Japan possibly looking to reduce their bond buying program. But I think market will be uh, very keen to see whether it actually happens on Friday when they meet uh, before they decide. Now, uh, come to the rupee. Uh, yes, it had drawn some influence from the Asian markets, uh, uh, or rather Asian currencies movement yesterday, when a uh, broad spectrum of uh, you know 
currency is weakened uh, uh, following the yuan move and the rupee closed at its all time low of uh, 83.5650 as far as the onshore trade is concerned we did have uh, state run banks sell uh, above 8350 and continue to do so but then the demand was very strong uh, beside the asian currency factor we also had reports of uh, large outflows of uh, you know uh, related to FDIs and the foreign banks are strong buyers. Uh, yes, uh, I think uh, today market should be relatively quite skeptical about testing uh, uh, 8360 uh, um, because of the events ahead and also the central bank uh, uh, reappearing, uh, the market tries to uh, weaken. Uh, so rupee, uh, at least for today, should be con con contained between 8345 and 8355 or slightly higher. Uh, but going forward, if uh, Fed uh, does come out with uh, just one rate cut indication, overall dollar is likely to rally and that could give some impetus to the uh, rupee uh, to, you know, we can more about uh, 83.60 with 83.75 uh, remaining a, a very strong resistance. Uh, whether uh, the central bank will allow the rupee to fall more in line with other currencies is something that we need to uh, wait and see. Uh, incidentally, we will also have the CPI and industrial production number from India uh, also tonight, uh, just ahead of uh, US CPI numbers. So a lot to look forward to. Markets could remain in the range uh, uh, before these big events. Thank you. Thank you, Jake. And I would like to draw the attention on a very interesting fact that you mentioned. Uh, that in December last year, FOMC dot plot had projected a rate cut uh, in June meeting, which is of this year, which is the upcoming meeting. And of course, how the situation has changed now. Uh, and uh, I think market participants would be keenly looking out for the dot plot projections and the speeches again tonight. Uh, Euro has considerably weakened and uh, a hawkish Fed, as JK mentioned, can further weaken the Euro while staying in the broad range, which has a downside of 1.06. Uh, Chinese inflation data continue to show deflationary trends and the yuan comfortably trading about 7.25 uh, rupee also drew some influence from all of this and uh, it closed at its all time low of 83.5650 uh, so a lot of big events ahead do tune in tomorrow as we uh, as we give you the updates on how the fomc went and what are the things to look out for uh, thank you for listening and see you all tomorrow